and we would cut little holes in the back of the Christmas gift so we would see what we were getting so it'd be like mad holes <laughs> So remember how I couldn't light the tree yesterday? So I figured it out. Okay, so look, the two little parts get connected together, and then I'm gonna take the plug and voila, it's lit. Look, it's literally lit. Oh, it's so cute. So in today's video, as you guys can see from the title. I am going to be doing a story time on Christmas. Let's go to the kitchen, get a little snack, get your little snack too, and we're going to just chill today. So let's just go, boo. So I'm thinking that I can eat some Reese's Puffs. I usually like to have over milk, but today I'm just gonna eat it without the milk. Sometimes it tastes good. That's a cute little snack, right? And then how about we make some some tea? Cause I don't have hot chocolate. Well, we could just pretend it's hot chocolate, but it's really gonna be. You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drink some cider. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. It's a weird drink. Just bear with me. But I'm gonna put it. Look, I'm gonna put oh, hot cider. Is this a Christmas drink or is this more Thanksgiving? If it's not, whatever. Like, I'm gonna make a warm hot cider. pour the cider in it and then I'm gonna just warm it up because you know what they do that oh it's a seasonal drink oh this is like a Christmas cake It actually is really good. The only thing is it's really sweet. So if you have a sweet tooth, holla at your girl. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got it. Okay. So get cozy. I hope you got your snacks. I did give I gave you some time while I was in that kitchen. Um, the first story I want to tell is me and my brother, right? We were close in age. So growing up, um, when there was Christmas time and it would be like a couple days before Christmas, my mom would put the presents underneath the tree. So in the middle of the night, me and my brother, we would wake up like late. Like we would get up, we would plan this, we would get up late. And then we would go downstairs, go in the kitchen, either get a scissors or a knife, and we would cut little holes in the back of the Christmas gift. So we would see what we were getting. So it'd be like mad holes in the gifts, like the presents. <laughs> and then we would like look at all of them. Like if it said my name on it or his name, we would be like, oh, what's that? That's a gift. Oh, that's this. This is this. So we would be like mad hype because we knew what we got. I remember one time my sister caught us down there that we like we tried to hide under like the tables and stuff because we were like oh my god we're gonna get in trouble my sister told on us and then we got in trouble and i was like dang after that my mom made sure that we ain't get no gifts <laughs> i was like wait i don't know actually i'm just i just think <laughs> And this crazy thing is like, imagine cutting holes, knowing what you get, and then on Christmas Day, you're like, oh wow, I really wanted this. You can lie and stuff. Oh my gosh, that's what we used to do. I hope you guys seen my decoration. Oh, don't play with me. And then look, if you guys didn't see it, I'm showing you now. 
cute. But as we continue, yo, these Reese puffs is so good. Y'all should try it. I don't know if y'all did it, but if you just eat it without milk, so. Another thing, let me think. Mm. You still here? My bad, girl. I was just enjoying my juicy puff. Mm. So, basically, <laughs> so another thing is like. I want to know, like, did you guys do any family traditions? Let me know in the comments because the boo, your girl wasn't doing a family tradition. Like, I've always wanted to do Christmas Eve. Like, in my house, it was only Christmas Day. Like, we didn't really celebrate Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve was just like, boo, you better open your presents on Christmas. So, I've always, like, looked up to people's families when they're like, oh, yeah, we did. Christmas Eve, Sika Santa, we didn't have friends. Oh yeah, boom. As far as like the rest of my childhood, there were some moments where I did have a tree, some moments that I didn't. But we was on the floor picking up our presents with no tree. It's okay, boo. It's okay. Cause we didn't have like, you know, a lot of money back then. So we would just like, pick up the present right there, open the gig, call it a day. And I think that's another reason why I went in on decorations because I like that space of that family tradition of like having a, a present, a tree, it feels festive. Like I think that's just why like I really like Christmas too. So it's like it's cute. Am I making sense? I don't think so. It's easy to see both. Can I eat this? This is vegan, right? I would love to hear all about your funny Christmas stories. So don't forget to leave me down below what happened during your childhood, during your adulthood. I think that would be great to know. Yeah, I need to do the side of Ooh. This good together. If y'all want another story time, let me know. Boo, I got a regular one. The title is How I Pretended to Be Thick. If y'all want to know that, it's not Christmassy, but it's funny. And let me know. Mm -hmm. So I'll see you guys in my next video, which is tomorrow. Because it's Vlogmas. Oh, okay. So tomorrow's video is actually going to be a skit. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see you tomorrow on day three. Peace.